Hey guys, today I'm going to show you how to add this vertical film transition to your videos in just a few simple steps inside Premiere Pro. So let's get started. All right, I have already created a full HD resolution sequence and we have three different video clips in the timeline. Firstly, we need to create a new adjustment layer inside the project panel. Here, we have to accept the same settings as the sequence. After that, let's drag and drop the adjustment layer on top of the first two video clips. Now, let's move the time indicator to the middle position between the first two video clips because this will be the center point of the transition. And then we have to move the time indicator six frames backward. And then we can switch over to the razor tool by hitting the C key and cut the adjustment layer to this position. Next, let's remove this extra part of the adjustment layer. Again, we have to move the time indicator to the middle position between two video clips. And then we have to move the time indicator six frames forward. Again, select the razor tool by hitting the C key and cut the adjustment layer to this position. Next, remove this extra part of the adjustment layer. Now you can see the adjustment layer duration is 12 frames longer. In the next step, we have to apply some effects to the adjustment layer. Before we do that, let's talk about our sponsor. This video is sponsored by Artlist. Artlist is an all-in-one platform for video creators, providing you with the highest quality digital assets made by leading artists worldwide. With Artlist, you gain access to a vast library of high quality music tracks, sound effects, footages, and templates. Artlist offers a user-friendly website interface, making it easy for you to browse, search, and discover the perfect assets for your projects. Once you find the right track, you can download it and use it in your projects without worrying about any licensing issues. Artlist takes care of all the legalities, giving you peace of mind and freeing up your creative energy. From YouTube videos to films, commercials, and everything in between, Artlist licenses their music for all types of projects. It's the perfect companion for enhancing your visual storytelling and capturing the essence of your creative vision. You will get extra two months free by using my link in the video description. Visit artlist.io today and start creating with the power of music at your fingertips. So let's go back to the tutorial. All right, now we have to select the adjustment layer and move over to the effects panel to apply some effects. Firstly, I am going to apply the turbulent displace effect. Let's double click on the turbulent displace effect to apply to the adjustment layer. And then we have to apply a fast blur effect to add a dynamic and artistic touch. Lastly, I am going to apply a brightness and contrast effect to control the overall overall lightness or darkness of the video clips. Next, go over to the effect controls panel to customize all the effects. Firstly, we have to customize the turbulent displace effect. That's why let's move the time indicator to the middle position between two video clips. And then we have to create keyframes for the amount parameter by clicking on the stopwatch icon. Next, we have to make the amount parameter value around zero. After that, let's move the first keyframe to the beginning of the adjustment layer. And then we have to create another keyframe by clicking on this icon with the amount parameter value zero. Next, we can improve the keyframes by right-clicking on the last keyframe and then select Ease In. After that, let's right-click on the first keyframe and then select Ease Out. Next, move the second keyframe to the end position of the adjustment layer. Now, we have to create another keyframe to this middle position with the amount parameter value 20. In the following step, we need to make the size parameter value around 120. Also, we have to make the complexity property value around 2. Again, we have to create keyframes for the evolution parameter by clicking on the stopwatch icon with the evolution property value value zero. Now let's move the first keyframe to the beginning of the adjustment layer. After that, let's create another keyframe with the evolution property value 180, and then move the second keyframe to the end position of the adjustment layer. In the next step, I am going to customize the fast blur effect. That's why make sure the time indicator is in the middle position between two video clips, and then we have to move the time indicator two frames backward. Here, we have to create a keyframe for the blurriness parameter by clicking on the stopwatch icon with the blurriness value zero. Again, move the time indicator to the middle position between two video clips. Now we have to create another keyframe with the blurriness value 30, and then we have to move the time indicator two frames forward. Now let's create another keyframe with the blurriness value zero. In the following step, from the brightness and contrast effect, we have to create keyframes for the brightness parameter by clicking on the stopwatch icon with the brightness value zero. Next, we have to move the time indicator two frames backward. Here, we have to make the brightness parameter value around 50. Again, we need to move the time indicator two frames backward. Lastly, let's create another keyframe with brightness value zero. All right, now we are done. To position the adjustment layer at the midpoint between the two video clips, you can add a marker by pressing the M key on your keyboard. This marker serves as a visual reference, allowing us to accurately align the adjustment layer in the center, ensuring it effectively impacts both clips. In the next step, we have to duplicate the adjustment layer and position it on top of the second cut between two video clips. Now we need some vertical film transition overlays. I already have some assets on my computer. You can download all 
these assets using the link provided in the video description. You can see we have five different vertical film transition overlays and a camera shutter sound effect. After that, I am going to drag and drop the first two transition overlay files and the sound effect inside the project panel. Now, we need to drag and drop the first transition overlay on top of the first adjustment layer. Next, let's select the transition overlay and move over to the effect controls panel. And then, let's find the opacity panel. After that, click on the blend mode drop-down menu. And then, we have to select the hard light mode from the list. Again, let's go over to the project panel. After that, drag and drop the second transition overlay on top of the second adjustment layer. And then, let's select the second transition overlay and move over to the effect controls panel. Next, let's find the opacity panel. After that, click on the blend mode drop-down menu. And then, we have to select the hard light mode from the list. Finally, we need to incorporate the camera shutter sound effect to enhance the visual transition. All right, with these couple of steps, we have created these vertical film transitions. In this way, you can add a vertical film transition to your videos in just a few simple steps inside Premiere Pro.